Hi, this is Elaine Jarvis, and I'm coming to you from Front Royal, Virginia, and I wanted to talk about one of my favorite new cases that the Supreme Court just issued, which is clear as mud. It's, a, it's an issue of affirmative action, and uh, affirmative action is what we did in this country to rectify centuries of horrific treatment of blacks, and what we did is we let colleges take into account race and other items that showed how hard people were struggling. So we did that for about 40 or 50 years and we said, wait a second, um, we think we've fixed everything so we're gonna go back and change that. So the Supreme Court issued a, a ruling and they said that you can't take race into account. And that is, that is completely awesome except for one thing, legacy admissions. So what's a legacy admission? That's when you're a rich white daddy and yes, it is rich white daddies because of the aforementioned decades then centuries of discrimination that kept white people having an advantage at all of the universities in the country, particularly the best ones like Harvard. Harvard is always in the middle of this because they have the most money. They have an endowment of something ridiculous like $25 billion. Instead of using that to help people out who are poor, they just spend more on themselves and give it to their donors. Now, I'm just kidding. They invest very carefully in taking care of the students' best interests at all times. So anyways, what should happen in affirmative action is they should just stop taking legacies. They should stop favoring legacies. If you got a rich white daddy, that's too bad. He can still give billions of dollars or millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars to the university to help build a new stadium. But how about if we just treat everybody equally? And that means nobody gets any benefits or favors.